What goods will Samsung unveil at its upcoming Galaxy Unpacked conference? Even Blas, a leaker who has been active and trusted in the tech industry for years, addresses this question by posting mosaic photos of the South Korean brand's upcoming gadgets. If these pictures do not provide us with a clear picture of the designs for all of these products, they do confirm that they will be released this summer. We can distinguish between the Z Fold 6 and Z Flip 6 folding smartphones, two Galaxy Watch 7 linked watches, and the well-known Galaxy Ring connected ring. We know even Blas has had trouble in the past disclosing official photos of forthcoming Samsung devices. He most likely chose to pixelate the photographs that came into his possession to avoid getting into problems and having his posts removed. It appears that these visuals will be used in the manufacturer's promotional effort. If even Blas got his hands on it, we should expect reliable releases on the technical sheet and design of these terminals, which have already been the topic of countless leaks. Remember that all of the details about the Galaxy Watch FE were disclosed this week. The cheaper wristwatch will have a design similar to the Galaxy Watch 4, run one UI Watch 5.0, and serve as an entry point into Samsung's wearable ecosystem. This model should also be officially unveiled before the next Galaxy Unpacked presentation, allowing it to focus on higher-end smartphones. For the time being, Samsung's solution has been a larger screen that is simpler to carry when its phones are folded shut. The phone manufacturer has developed certain features that make use of the folding display, such as Flex Mode, which produces a separate control panel when you fold your phone into a specific position. The Galaxy Z Fold excels at running numerous apps at once, however, some prefer the OnePlus Open's approach to multitasking. These features are nice to have, but they don't add an essential feel to Samsung's foldables. AI could change that. According to Samsung's Choi, Galaxy AI features will be announced alongside Samsung's foldable phone in the summer. It's less clear what those features will be, but we may assume they'll be related to the fold and flips foldable design. You can imagine that multitasking might be involved in a foldable specific Galaxy AI tool, especially as it relates to the Z Fold 6. Maybe we'll acquire a tool that can summarize the information of one app and style it so you can email or text it to a colleague all without your interaction. What I'm looking for is the option to have three distinct apps open on a Z Fold 6 display, as well as a Galaxy AI tool that can conduct a task in one app and communicate the findings with the others. For either the Z Fold 6 or Z Flip 6, having an AI tool that works from the cover display and saves you from ever having to open either phone would be a wonderful addition. Samsung's physical adjustments to cover screens, such as changing the aspect ratio of the Z Fold 6's outer panel and enlarging the size of the screen on the Z Flip 6, suggest a realization that users want to perform a lot of work on the screen. Future Galaxy AI features should match this fact. Finally, one of the nicest features of the Galaxy Z Fold's 7.6-inch inside display is the amount of screen space it gives, which may be very useful for tasks such as photo or video editing. The S Pen, which the Z Fold smartphones offer, is also useful for these chores. I'd want to see a Galaxy AI tool that can assist with generative editing across a bigger workspace. Integrating AI into mobile devices is undoubtedly a goal for Samsung, but the company has also expressed a desire to make foldable phones more broadly accepted among mainstream customers. Creating foldable-specific AI technologies will allow Samsung to achieve both of its ambitions, and it appears that Samsung is ready to grasp that opportunity. So yes, Samsung has worked out how to create a foldable phone in a variety of form factors. What it hasn't done is convince enough consumers that this design is worth paying for, as Samsung's foldables are far more expensive than phones with more traditional designs. The affordable model, the Z Flip, costs $999, which is comparable to other smartphones, while the Z Fold is priced evenly. What do you get in exchange for that money? While the Z Fold series pricing has dropped slightly since the original $1,980 model, we don't expect anything particularly drastic this year. Even with cheaper production methods, the technology remains pricey, and competing tablet-style foldables, such as Google's Pixel Fold, do not appear to be in a hurry to lower NSRPs either. Something in the $1,699 to $1,799 area appears likely. However, there has been constant chatter of a cheaper version in the works, 
similar to Samsung's Fan Edition smartphones such as the Galaxy S23 FE. A potential Samsung Z Fold 6 FE with reduced specs and no S Pen compatibility might lower the price even further. However, reports of a Z Fold 6 FE may have been premature. According to a fresh source, Samsung is postponing the release of the lower-cost foldable this year due to fears that it will not be thin enough or distinguishable from the normal Z Fold 6. Instead, the lesser device, likely dubbed the Z Fold 6 Slim, could be released next year alongside the Galaxy S25. The manufacturer has still points to July 10, 2024. It would be held in Paris, just before the Olympic Games, of which the brand is one of the main partners. So stay tuned for more updates on the Galaxy Z series, and I will see you in the next one.